Hey guys, I'm walking down the stairs right now because I know I'm running a couple minutes late. And uh, that's fine. <laughs> My son is catching me saying, can I have a sucker? Sorry, it's really close or uh, close up here. Um, I wanna, hey Chris. Um, I, I'm gonna be real quick today. Well, I say real quick. That means it'll probably be a half hour instead of 45 minutes or an hour. Hey, Rachel. Um, I have a hair appointment today, so that's why my face kind of looks done up, but my hair is frizzy and weird because I'm going to have my hair done later. So, oh well, bad timing on doing the video <laughs> just before the hair gets done. Um, I'm so glad you made it, Chris. Um, that helps when you set a timer. So that's exciting that some of you like setting a timer for me. Makes me feel special. I love you guys. Um, so today we're going to talk about the Joy of Giving Tag Kit. That's the main thing we're going to focus on. And I'm excited to show you it. It makes some really cute tags. Uh, the kit is an all-inclusive kit, so that means you don't have to have any other supplies. Um, you, you could be a totally new beginner and not have anything because it provides the ink, the stamp set, a little block um, to help stamp on your tags it makes it gives you all the stuff for 30 tags but I'm gonna show you how you could use some of the pieces if you didn't want to make all tags or just even some of the extra pieces to make extra cards on top of the uh, the tags that you can make you have a stamp set now so you can make all kinds of fun things so um, so we're gonna explore that and um, and then we're going well I'll make one card so I'm gonna show you one card and we'll do a little bit of review. There's a few things where there's deadlines coming up. So, um, but before we get started, uh, or let's get started, I should say, and I'm gonna turn this around. And I forgot to put my phone in my, this is the kind of day it is, in my little holder. So excuse the noise. Hey, Sabrina, as I turn this around here. to do that as smoothly as possible. What, sweetie? This went over the... PJ Masks? Yeah. Jacob's going to be home soon. Hey, Sabrina. Sorry, this is trickier when my son is not watching something. He's waiting for his brother to come home. Um, and I don't have to pick up Jacob from weightlifting today. That got canceled, so that was um, actually a real blessing today that I have a hair appointment. So that's one last thing to pick up, but um, let's look at the Joy of Giving Tag Kit here. It makes tags that actually open up so you can put, and I haven't stamped the two from on the inside, but it comes with a stamp set that has all of these words. So Santa's Workshop, Be Merry Christmas, as some fun swirls, little leafy things, some border stuff. Um, so it's got some pretty cool, and it even has a little deer um, stamps and then it's got the two from to stamp that you could stamp on the inside of your uh, cards real quick just to show you how quick it is this is why I love stamps rather than writing to and from in all of your stamps you just get a block stick the two from on there find your color I'm using poppy parade and it does, this kit comes with um, a little stamp and spot. So you don't get a whole big ink pad, but you get a little stamp and spot. So that you can put the two from right on the inside of your card. Ta-da! So that's nice to have that. That you can stamp really easily on the inside of your tags. So it has ten each of three different designs. So it's got this one that's got uh, this really has no stamping on the front it's got some craft piece, pieces which are pretty it's got the one that looks like this so you get 10 of these cards or tags um, you've been very nice and it's got little gold stickers this one you stamp have a have a Merry Christmas aren't these cute cute little tags and it comes with so it comes with all the pieces 10 10 each of each tag it comes with a whole uh, ream of this green linen thread 
that you can use to put through the tag holes. Um, and you want to thread your tag before you, and I actually popped my tags up with, most of them I popped up with dimensionals, or you could use the glue dots that they provide. Because they actually give you, I think, a couple sheets of, so you get these mini dimensionals, you get a couple sheets of these um, gold, they're, they're really pretty. Now these, these gold stickers are, look at how fine and ornate they are. You just have to be real careful. If you have a little girl helping you with these, you don't, you might want to help her with the stickers. If she tries to rip it out there, it's probably going to rip the sticker. So they're very ornate, um, but they're so pretty once you get it, them lifted off there um, to just add a little accent. So you get two, st two sticker sheets. Like I said, you get 10 each of uh, these designs, the tags that fold over. You get 10 of these designs that are already scored for you. And they all come in a really cute box. Um, so you get the, the cute box with a lid on it that you could use for other other things. I'm trying to see what else is in here. The, the gift that keeps on giving here. Oh yeah, you do get, you get two sheets of dimensionals. So that's awesome. You get a sheet of, um, there's these. These are what these start with. So there's 10 of these uh, green and red. So the green and red's already printed on there and you fold them over. So that's all like the pieces. So you get everything you need to put these tags together. Um, and then these craft pieces that go on your tags. So this is the piece that goes onto the, you're very nice, just goes on there before you put your sticker and you uh, pop up your nice on there. Um, so they're pretty craft pieces. What I wanted to show you too is um, all of the pieces that go to this tag, you get 10 of the, the inside pieces that you can use for other cards. So all these inside pieces, don't throw them away. This is a great little background label or something to stamp on um, later in a card. So you get those fun pieces uh, that pop out of your frame. Um, so I'm going to show you how to use some of those pieces as well. So when you pop that out and you're using this on your tag, use all of those inside pieces for more tags or cards. And again, I'll show you, show you how to use those. So again, you get 10 of each of those craft pieces. You get um, the tags that already, some of them have leaves on them. They already have a little gold foil on them, so they're really pretty. And you get a bunch of these little uh, deer that are already on there with some gold foil. So this little one is the one you would stamp the Christmas on. But again, you can use these pieces for cards too. Oh, here's your sheet of, so you get a lot of glue dots too. You get all of those. Um, so you get a lot of stuff in this t Joy of Tag uh, kit. It's really kind of fun. Um, so I'm sure you are wanting to, wanting to see what are some of the cards that I've created with these pieces. Right? Yes, Bethany, we want to see it. <laughs> um, okay, so here's a very simple card just on white, thick white cardstock um, that I made. And... On white again and I used my um, we have a little tag punch that ends the, that punches out that little tag end scalloped end which is nice and easy and I did use my um, copper metallic stamp to stamp that deer on here and then I used that pretty uh, little swirl this swirly stamp and I stamped that in green and then there is a little stamp that comes with just two two little dots. Um, so I use that to just add the little red berries on there. So this is traditional green and red colors. I did add one of the little uh, gold stickers underneath that tag too, made in Santa's workshop. So that's a real simple card using the, the stamp set. Now here's a card that I use that's actually making 
Thanks for the love and the likes, you guys. I love it. Thank you. Um, so this, I actually used one of the pieces because I don't think I'm going to make all of mine tags. Um, so I can afford to take some of the pieces. So I just trimmed off this. So you've got white, another white piece of paper that you could use for anything, really. Um, and I used this part of the tag to put on there, and I stamped the joy. And then Be Merry, I added some gold uh, paper in the, and then some of our plaid paper. Uh, but still pretty, pretty easy. I added that swirl. I stamped that in the same gray. I stamped the joy in. Um, this design is very similar to uh, one of our past artisans. Um, Susan Wong made this, uh, made a card very similar to this. And so I kind of pretty much copied her. Um, I'm trying to think of what her blog is, but, um, you know, there's so many good ideas out there. You, I think you can find a card similar to this on Pinterest. If you look up the Joy of Giving tag kit, um, they'll show you some of these alternative cards. Now, these cards are all ones that I just made up by myself. But I wanted to show you again how easy. So I'm using all of our the newest in colors um, that we've got. Um, and just a few weeks ago, but I want to remind you that the Purple Posy ink, that was out for a long time, but it's it's in now. And I love all of these in colors. So this is our Seaside Spray. And here again, I just used, so I'm using a little bit additional. I used my Tree Punch from the Perfectly Plaid Bundle. I just stamped the word Joy from our uh, Joy of Giving tag kit. I stamped that swirl in Night of Navy and then added a little gold sticker. Um... So the only extra thing I did was punched out that tree and then I uh, used my st stitched square to kind of cut out of there. Um, but simple, again, very, very simple card. You probably could, we've got some gold st stars and different embellishments that you could put on top of that tree if you wanted to add a little more blitz. Um, so that, the tree that I punched out of that, I used on a different card. And here is where you're going to see voila um these cute pieces that come out of the tags that are just extra pieces are great um little extra pieces to just use on cards so i just made it the background popped my tree on there um and i'm going to show you two a few more cards with these um thank you isn't it cute this is the terracotta tile so one of the new in colors as well I'm going to show you the card that I'm going to show you is going to be using our craft white to um, man Christmas time, ladies and guys, whoever's watching. If you love crafting, um, the craft white ink pad is something I'm going to show you even because it's so fun to stamp snowflakes and snow looking stuff um, with the white craft on darker colors. Um, I love it. And it's nice and easy and it's easier than embossing. Um, it's a little bit more subtle than embossing, but it's pretty. And this cluster of snowflakes is from the Itty Bitty Christmas bundle that cuts out snowflakes and some leafy things. I'll show you kind of all the designs. So I'm kind of showing that too. And I actually just trimmed off those three right from this cluster because I just wanted a smaller cluster. So that was all one piece to begin with, but I just trimmed off. And the, the pieces that I kind of trimmed off, I stuck under this piece so you didn't see the weird cut off pieces and then I just add a little copper star and a gold glimmer dot on there so easy cards this purple posy one here I'm using again the negative and then the ornament that I punched out so for two different cards and then I just I cut this out with my circle stitched shape and then I embossed it because who doesn't love just some texture to it embossed it um, this have a merry and then Christmas are both, and the, even this little swirly thing that I stamped, um, I curved it and stamped it in a circle are still all from the joy of giving tag kit. And I wanted to show you, this is one thing I love about photopolymer stamps. This have a merry was a little bit too, when I wanted to stamp have a merry, it was a little bit too, what or I don't know, it was too small of a, of a arc. And so because these are bendable, I just stretched that out just a little bit more. So it has, it had a wider curve to it. So it would fit around my circle. So that's something really nice about photopolymer stamps is that you can make 
them, you can bend them and to the shape that you want, which is awesome. Uh, because that's what I did for this circular one too. I took this um, curly stamp and I actually gave it a little bit more bend to it so it actually was going more in, so I could put it in a circular uh, shape. So I bent that. So that's something awesome about the photopolymer sense is, sets is that they are bendable and you pliable and you, you can bend them to kind of the shape that you want them. So that's a cool thing about it. Isn't the purple posy color so pretty? Now, I don't know if you can tell, but I did stamp some white snowflakes on, so you can stamp your, with your white craft pad on lighter colors too. It's just more subtle. But can you see those snowflakes? I, and I have to say that the snowflake stamp is from the snowman bundle. So I kind of stole that from a different set, but because I'm making simple Christmas cards, I wanted a little snowflake set. And then obviously on the darker colors, this is our pretty peacock, uh, that white craft pops a lot more. Um, and I have hair, have a Mary, and then I would probably put on the inside Christmas of this one. Um, but again, very simple. Um, the itty bitty Christmas bundle, again, these are all dies that cut out these shapes. So um, here's the big cluster of snowflakes. Um, it, this is how big that cluster of those shapes starts. So again, I didn't use the whole thing. Um, it has some single pieces too, a snowflake and one of these shapes, a couple snowflakes, I guess, and this uh, leafy piece too. So um, those are the dies that match with the itty bitty Christmas. Um, so those are just a fun little extra accent to add to your cards. Now I'm going to show you real quick a card that looks similar to this, um, just Joy, um, and I stamped that curly Q stamp on the border. Um, I'm going to add, now I used my white glimmer um, embossing powder with that Joy, but I'm going to show you using these pieces, um, that even just using our white craft, it will be just as pretty. So hopefully you'll like uh, you know, this is non-traditional colors, too, using our in colors. So I'm starting with, and this is the Rococo Rose color. So you just cut a half a sheet, then score it at uh, four and a quarter. And I'm going to stamp using that Curly Q stamp. So this is color on color because I'm using my Rococo Rose stamp pad. And let me get, since I'm stamping off, I should use some kind of scrap paper. Although I know the wood looks so much prettier, but that's all right. So I'm going to ink up the curly Q and I'm stamping off the edge. And it doesn't really matter how straight it is. It's a curly kind of stamp so it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if you overlap a little it really doesn't matter isn't that pretty just a pretty fun little border um now instead of leaving it so plain because that that's okay Sh sherry um everybody gets sick i know that um so i'm going to show you stamping those um the snowflakes with our white so here's our white craft pad again if you don't have the white craft pad i highly suggest it it's so much fun to stamp um, christmas christmas cards with when you have snowflakes or even dotted background so i'm just going to do the bottom and i'm inking it up once and then stamping off so one's a little bit brighter and one's a little bit lighter Get my finger out of the way there. And I'm not going to stamp all the way up. I'm probably just going to keep it on the bottom there with the white craft. Hey, Leah. Yay. I'm. So, it's so, I don't know, I can't even tell you guys how exciting it is when I get a few people to come on and say hello. Love it. Um, okay, so again, this snowflake, all the stamps are using our Joy of Giving stamp set. Um, except for the snowflakes, I'm 
I stole from my snowman stamp set. Um, now we're gonna, instead of embossing and taking my Versamark pad, I'm just going to use my Joy stamp from our same tag kit stamp set. Gonna get it inked up. Now this white craft does take a little bit um, to dry, so you don't wanna touch it or rub your fingers. Oh man, I got a little crooked. That's where there's two sides to every piece of paper. That's why I tell you ladies when you're like, no, I got it crooked. Okay, I'm gonna take a little more time to get that straight. There, that's a little better. Okay, so you see how the joy that I embossed is a lot more bright. Um, it, it is a little bit brighter, but, um, and it's, it's sparkly too, so it's very pretty. But the joy stamped with just the white craft is just as pretty too. Um, it's just a little bit more subtle, right? Now I'm gonna take my white sponge. And because I didn't, you know, emboss, I'm gonna just add a little white border or edge to this just to make it a little more fun. So again, with your white craft, you can sponge around the edges too. That gives it a little bit of a snowy border, which is pretty. Isn't that pretty? And then the pop of color of the green is from this piece that I cut out. Now, on my other card, I just trimmed one of the bottom pieces so it kind of curls around. You know, you could leave it like this and just plop it down. Um, but because it came ha hanging down a little bit more than what I wanted, um, how did I do that? I had this sticking over. And then I just trimmed this piece off. Doop. Okay, so this piece is hanging off here and literally I can just leave it right there and use some dimensionals to stick right on there. I'm using mini ones, but only because I can't find my, so we're doing this fast people. Okay, so I put two of the dimensionals right over those leaves so they won't budge. And then I'll stick this down right about here. And I'm still gonna use this piece to add a little bit more green on the bottom. I'm gonna stick one of my glue dots on this one, add that underneath. There, that adds just a little bit more green underneath. See, that took me like, I don't know, a minute and a half. It's pretty quick. And Joy, so pretty, the, the pink and the green. Um, I think this is shaded spruce. It's a really pretty green. So isn't that nice? Fast and easy, but so pretty. So with the stamp sets that stamp set that you get in that tag kit, uh, you definitely can get more. This would be a great project um, to get and make some tags and cards when you come. For those of you who are coming to my holiday retreat day. Um, so speaking of that holiday retreat day. Um, you have until November November 10th, which is only a few days away. Can you believe that? We're already like almost a week into November. It's crazy. Um, and I just stamped this one quick. The only difference is I stamped some snowflakes on here and I had it embossed with that one. But they both are pretty, aren't they? But isn't that funny how just a little bit of difference, it makes it look like a just a different card. So fun. Subtle differences are still pretty. Um, so that's the joy of giving tag kit, which this is the original plan for those stamps. You've been very nice. There are tags, but again, those pieces um, you can use for so much more than the tags. You can use them for pretty cards and easy cards too. Simple, fast, um, and when you want to make a bunch of cards, this is a fun little project to use. So. Um, reminders again, my retreat day is November 23rd. It's all day, 10 to 8 p.m. 
And I do want to spoil. I'm already getting your gift bags together. So you'll get a gift bag worth, um, worth of at least $25 worth of product. Plus you're going to get, I'm going to make at least five or six make it takes. You'll get to put together. But you'll bring some of your own stuff to put together your Christmas cards. Um, it's, it'll include a brunch and um, a pizza and salad dinner. So it's going to be a fun day. I've already got, I think, eight people who've, or seven people, seven or eight, who have um, paid or registered. i um, got a couple maybes out there. So I still have some room for a few more, but November 10th is the last day to register, and I am almost uh, closed for um, registration anyhow. So I hope some of you, I can get a couple more people to come to that. Um, I want to remind you of the 50-50 board. Um, once I get all 50 squares filled in, I will draw two people will win $25 worth of product from me um, of your choice. Um, so there will be two winners. Every time you get your um, name in a box, so that's with every $50 of an order, every time you get your name in a box, you'll be your name will be thrown into the drawing that, that many times. So obviously the more orders you get, the more chances you'll have to win that $25 of product. And again, I'll pick two winners. So thank you people who've been ordering love it um i'm hoping i'm still hoping to maybe possibly earn the cruise this year um but that does mean i need to pretty much double my sales from last year so we'll see reaching for the stars there but you guys are are helping me have a good start um last minute reminders too about the christmas time is here suite um i showed you some cards and i have showed some from that suite um, just to refresh your memory um, because it's such a beautiful stamp set it's way more than Christmas this rose is so pretty to color in with watercolors with uh, watercolor pencils the designer paper is gorgeous so if you're not going to get the whole suite I would definitely suggest at least getting the stamp set the dies and the designer paper because um, you can use other things uh, the glimmer dots are pretty and the um, everything else is pretty too but um, if you had to just pick and choose a few things I would still say the designer paper is worth it the stamp set and the dies it's such a pretty set sweet and there I haven't seen that it's run out quite yet but um, it's as supplies last so um, it may not last all month so that's why I warned even my club people to order it ASAP if you want that um, this is if you want the whole bundle, which is $112. Um, but like I said, you can pick and choose what you want to. Um, if you want to get Paper Pumpkin, the next, the November box, you have to order or subscribe by November 10th. That's just on paperpumpkin.com. And this next box will be, um, will be tags, will be more Christmas tags, and it will match, so it'll kind of coordinate with this was October's um, paper pumpkin kit. I added the snowman, so that was they didn't give us those, but that's from our snowman designer paper, the Let It Snow. But they're really pretty. The cards were gorgeous. And you got 10 cards and a, another fun stamp set uh, to use with that. But November's paper pumpkin will have another cute box. How pretty is that? That will have coordinating tags. And I think it's 24 tags it will have. And that's only $22. That includes shipping. It comes right to your house. It's a fun subscription. And you can go in and manage your account and you can choose to, um, I think it says suspend. So you're just skipping a month and then it will, the next month will come to you unless you suspend another one. Um, to order, go to the thedrewdaily.stampinup.net. That's my site. And right now the hostess code that is open for my hostess Carol is 4 k w s three c nine b and i have a few more pieces of these uh from the inside of my tag kit too so the first three people after today who use my hostess code will get a piece of rococo rose um, i will already have had cut out for you so you'll have to use your own stamps um, but you can make a simple card just using this piece. I'll have cut this piece out for you that you can cut and trim and make a really simple card with, and you'll get the Rococo Rose background. Um, 
So you'll get those three pieces from me to stamp your own easy Christmas card with. Um, so that's for the first three people who order and use this hostess code um, after today, or I guess starting today, <laughs> that will get the pieces to put together this card. Um, but that doesn't include ink or stamps. But some of you who have ordered have plenty of your own things, I think. So I hope this was a quick one today. Um, I know because I usually try to show a couple more things um, that I, or I try to demonstrate a couple more things, but um, I've got a hair appointment soon and I've got a friend who's helping me pick up and drop off kids, which is a beautiful thing. Thank you to my friend Zika. She's an awesome godsend in my life. Um, so I, I'm looking forward to everybody who's coming November 23rd to my holiday retreat. Um, I'm so looking forward to that. I, guys, I'm getting so excited because I really am going to pamper you. In, in fact, everyone who comes to the holiday retreat is going to win a free prize. I've gathered enough prizes. I went a little crazy. <laughs> that everyone's going to win something. Um, and everyone who orders something in November before that event too um, will get into a drawing um, for the holiday retreat. And I will pick one person's name at a time and they'll get to choose at my table of drawing or winnings and prizes. Um, and there will be more fun things that I'll have out for people who come to my retreat. And you'll get to use, I'll have like my dies. So I'll have my Christmas dies out. So you could use these dies and cut out a few of these for backgrounds for your cards. I'll have my uh, Christmas punches out. So I'll have the snowman punch and the tree punch and the ornament punch. I'll have those punches out for people to use. And just a little FYI, a, a lot of the things in your uh, gift bag will be some pretty designer papers too that you can either punch out shapes with or use as backgrounds on cards. So you're going to have a lot of fun stuff. Um, and then you can bring your own things to work on and finish your Christmas cards. Because so, I'm going to be there all day. It'll be a fun day for people to get some stuff done. We'll listen to Christmas music. I'll have Christmassy snacks and stuff too so it's just going to be a load of fun i'm excited this is the first time i've ever done this so we'll see how it goes but i'm getting excited so thanks to everyone who joined me um to look at a quick look at the joy of giving tag kit it is a really cute kit and uh if you want to make some quick easy tags um, plus have the resources to make some easy and quick christmas cards too you can do that. Oh, I wanted to say too, this one that folds this way, I saw someone write a name on the in-between and these 10 could be like name cards on, you know, a Christmas, on your Christmas plates for Christmas dinner. And you could make name cards and have everybody's names in the middle of those. I thought that was a cute idea too. And then you could have a little message to each person, um, just how much you love them or things you appreciate about them for Christmas dinner. So that was another fun idea with those 10. So lots of different ideas you can get out there. You can pin, pin on Pinterest different ideas when you get a project to work with to give you more ideas. So hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for stopping by for this quick video today, but I really appreciate everyone. Thanks for the likes and the loves. And, uh, if you want to share my video too, to get the word out, that'd be awesome. And I always post these I just started this um, in October posting my videos on YouTube. So I have a YouTube channel now. You just look up Bethany Drew and Stampin' Up! And you'll find my videos now on YouTube as well. So spread the word. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Off to my haircut. Bye.